Hello, and welcome to yet another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. If you're watching this on video, this is not really a video. I mean, what you're watching is a video, and it is a video, but it's not a podcast. You have the podcast version, just the audio only of this, and the other 72 episodes. Those are at podcastpontifications.com. Today, I want to make a point, and that is a stake in the ground. That is, your feed is not your podcast. This is a continuation of yesterday's show where I ended with it's going to change the nature of how we make podcasting. And I wanted to pick up on that and spend a little time on that today because that's a little bit of a bombshell, Eva. What are you talking about? Because your feed today, very much, and the, the definition of podcasting is all tied around something called an RSS feed. But I posit to you that your feed is not your podcast and you should not treat your podcast like it is just and is only a feed. With some things that have to change. This is a very much a forward-looking edition of Podcast Pontifications. And I'll stress it again. Your feed does not define your podcast, even though that really does define podcasting today. But in the future, that's not going to work. It is non-tenable that the definition of a podcast, that which is its essential nature, is really tied up inside of a feed. Your podcast is greater than your feed. And here's why. If you missed the news, just a few days ago, at the end of 2018, it was announced that Pandora, the largest music service in America, as far as I know, something like 74 million users, U.S. only, would soon have access to more podcasting content. Podca uh, Pandora had dabbled in podcasting. Now they're opening it up to like 500 shows available when it comes out in early December. And then hopefully not long after that, literally thousands more because the, the floodgates aren't quite open, but uh, I have submitted all of my clients' shows to Pandora. Okay, so here's the deal about, so now we have Pandora. We have Spotify. These two products do really two things. Well, they, I'm sorry, each of them does one thing really well. They play music. I mean, that's really it. But clearly, podcasting is connected to music. I mean, we use MP3 files. We have things like that are called ID3 tags or designed from the music industry's particular point of view, and we've piggybacked on there. Well, we're doing it again because Spotify is the number two podcast listening app, seven point something odd percent of that. And I have no doubt that with 75 million people who use Pandora all the time, it will grow. Also, here's the deal about these things. They're more than just music apps. I mean, they, they're music apps, but they have their own certain flares. Hardcore Spotify users love Spotify because they can build and they can curate playlists. And what we're seeing already is that Spotify is putting the podcast, which kind of doesn't really fit. They tend to be longer form not music-based, not three-minute and five-second long pieces of content, but 25, 30-minute, four hours at a time. That's a bit of a shift. But we're already seeing Spotify modify and make modify podcasting so that it's easier to fit in the Spotify model. Building, share, building and sharing playlists is what Spotify is doing today. Now, Pandora... Pandora's new thing out of the box, and they've been talking about this for a while, is something called the Genome Project. The great thing about Pandora, why Pandora users love it, is you tell Pandora to play a particular artist for you, and it will play other artists that are like